Well, as this storm changed course, many residents changed their minds about evacuations. And some who had planned to ride out the storm, well, they got in their car and headed north. Mm -hmm. News Channel 8's Shannon Benkin joins us now live. Tell us a little bit about that. You've been on the traffic beat. I imagine things are pretty quiet now, but they were hectic for a long time. They were, and evacuees that we talked to earlier today here at this rest area told us that they had been driving for hours, mainly from southern places, and now we're running into in the past couple of hours people who at the last minute, they've been watching the newscast, they've been watching the track, and they've decided to take their chances on the interstate. Diane DePuerto has been through hurricanes before. She planned to stay, but tonight she changed her mind. We thought we were going to hold out, and uh, we did what we could to secure the home, but um, at this point we're just thinking it's pretty imminent, and we've got to get our family and little ones out of harm's way. This family tells me they are not even sure where they're going, just somewhere north where they will hopefully have power and shelter. We were afraid to be in the dark and with all that noise, have them listening to uh, sounds that uh, we don't want them remembering. Many of the evacuees we saw at this Pasco County rest area today tell me they fear dealing with traffic. Some have even run out of fuel along the way. This afternoon, traffic on I-75 was heavy, but then it cleared. Jennifer Chambers and her husband made a last minute decision to flee South Tampa. So have you been watching the news? What changed your mind? Uh, we've been watching obsessively, which is probably not the best idea, but... We wanted to watch college football, but... <laughs> Didn't work. Yeah. But we just decided, in looking at different things, and we talked to friends of ours down in uh, Punta Gorda, and he said, get out. And he's up. And get out is what so many people are still trying to do. Stacey. Uh, Shannon, where are some of the people you've talked to going? Well, you know, most of the people I've talked to tell me that they're trying to get to Georgia. They're just trying to get anywhere they can out of the state of Florida. But I've talked to people who are trying to get as far away as Pennsylvania. So we'll, we'll see if they do. But for the most part, they're just trying to get out of danger. Yeah, I had cousins go to Alabama. I know a lot of people are making different choices. I actually sent a lot of my family to Denver because I have a sister there. I know that your wife is yeah. in Tallahassee. Yeah, your, yours boarded up flight, but Paula got in the car with my mm -hmm. daughter Elizabeth. Well, she went to Tallahassee, picked up my daughter and uh, my grandson Eli, cute little fellow that he is, and <laughs> yes. they headed to Tennessee, and <laughs> he's a, he's a good-looking kid, and, and they're on their way to Tennessee, but it's a long drive, but they said the traffic's not that bad, and that's no, a good sign. No, she had a, a harder time getting from Tampa to oh, Tallahassee. Getting to Tallahassee yesterday was a nightmare. Mm -hmm.